All right, we got some famous birthdays here as well. Oh. Um, Princess Diana was born in 1961 on July 1st. One year after you? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A year and... A couple of months. A couple of months. Almost. Yeah. Actor Dan Aykroyd. Oh, yeah, yeah. I He's saw this. 70. Yeah. Uh, yesterday. He was 70. Yeah. Uh, From the I believe original SNL. SNL, yeah. Mm-hmm. Blues Brothers, Tonight too. Live. He's off the Blues Brothers, yeah. too. And then Carl Lewis, sprinter, mm. I think, right? Or runner? Yeah, sure. a lot of things, yeah, like lots hurdler, of things. and he just did. did it all. Yeah. 61 yesterday. Um, when, when, when he was in the Olympics multiple times, like he did the Olympics a lot, wow. You know, I mean, he wore such short shorts. Mm. But, I mean, you look at some of those guys and you say, boy, I'd wear shorts like that if I... I understand. Yeah. I understand I mean, what you're doing. Just, just like that. Unbelievable. I, well, you did. I see what you're... I yeah. wore shorts like that back in high school well, when true. you played basketball. Yeah. But that was more yeah. of a style than than really showing off your legs. It was certainly showing off your legs. It was off showing off your legs. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was It was obscene, to be honest with you. <laughs> it, um, but yeah, I mean, it was just a, that was just a style thing. Nobody knew it. I mean, nobody knew any difference. Well, and they've come back. back. I mean, I, there's people that run around the neighborhood that have... Very short shorts. Very. But that's that's now the style. You don't want your legs to be encumbered. You know, you want they want to, you know, let those babies free. Maybe that's why I don't run very fast. Maybe I need to get really high shorts. I can Please run don't. a little faster. But the but the elastic bands on there that, that were way up here, mm-hmm. they're they were tight. It's not like you know, those encumbered. But like I said, basketball, the 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 white socks we would wear white socks up to here mm-hmm. and then your shorts were way up here so the same amount of leg was basically showing but if the worst you had, part yeah right but if you if you had the opposite where you had tiny little socks like like in the nineties and two thousands and stuff now they're going back to some more shorty shorts right mm-hmm. seems like it yeah some guys like yeah, that it's back and I don't but even some of the high school kids kind of roll, roll up, up their the, band, shorts. the bands yeah. of their shorts so that they yeah. can hike up their shorts a bit yeah yeah. Lots, All of, right. lots of styles come and go. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Some that you didn't probably think were going to be back, like short shorts. Like, mm-hmm. there's one style though that probably won't ever make it way its way back is back when these dudes, the the guys for the A blonde mustache, that won't that probably won't. Yeah, I, that won't gain, gain traction. But those those white curly wigs that they used to wear, remember? Oh. Oh, back the declaration, to like the, the, the people, signers yeah, of the declaration. That's what I'm saying. It's like that. Hey, I can't get out of the United States. They're yeah, still doing it in Parliament. They're still doing it in, Parliament. Parliament. Doing yeah. it in, in court. Yeah, no in way. Australia, they're doing it in courts. So yeah. I was saying here. Oh, here. Sorry. Okay, got it. I just don't think that's something we'll probably go back to. Somebody's not going to say, yeah, that looked really good. Let me put a Some real curly wig, wig on yeah. again. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I think I'm safe to say that. We'll see. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. All right, a famous death on this date, which was yesterday. Charles Goodyear, that's why I thought I would do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, this Throwback was, to BJ. Was, yeah, it was important to do that um, with BJ and, and William being here. He died on this date back in 1860. He was 59 years old. So he died before the Civil War. He did, that's, yep, just before. Didn't even see it. Nope. That was a good year. There you have it. A bad joke, good year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, he was a, his layup. He was a chemist and inventor coming up with a process to vulcanize. I had to look that up. I had no idea what vulcanize. I thought maybe it was like the Vulcan death grip or something like that. <laughs> you know, Spock. They call yeah. oh yeah. They call yeah. they call hockey pucks vulcanized rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here's why. Okay, thank you. It's rubber that has been hardened through the use of heat and sulfur. So they smell stinky. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to sniff that too hard. <laughs> he did that in 1839. Wow. Died 21 years later. He discovered this process accidentally after five years of searching for a more stable rubber and stumbling upon the effectiveness of heating. For five years he stuck with that. <laughs> and if he was practicing the sulfur. Think oh, about what he was terrible. Just stuck in his nostrils. Nobody every probably day. wanted to spend time All with around him. him yeah. yeah, yeah. It goes. That might have been why. Was his name Thomas died. Goodyear? Yeah. All that yeah. sulfur stuff in intake. your lungs and stuff. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Let's just yeah. We have no clue, but that's that would make sense. It I might would, be. 
not want to be around much Does longer. Does it say what he passed away from? Did they just no, say consumption? Like isn't that the isn't that the thing that they? That was a big thing back they, back not then, but a lot, but a lot of but years even before that too. Died of consumption. So he had no idea really what it was, but you know, it was drinking heavily or whatever. So that was part of it as well. But it's like liver failure and mm, all sorts of probably other things that they didn't but, know about. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, there's that, and here's a couple fun holidays for July first again. <clears throat> Because obviously, 4th of July is a fun holiday all into itself. Canada Day was yesterday. That's mm. when they declared independence. It's mm. like, you know, it's kind of like, all right, Canada. You know, Stop trying once to you get your us, own yeah. month. What year? Don't what know. Year? They're always copycatting us. I wonder if Thomas Jefferson went and helped stuff. them out, too. Huh? I wonder if Thomas Jefferson went and helped them out, too, get their independence. Or if that was later, like you said. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I mean, Canada Day. So, I, I mean, I didn't celebrate it, no. which makes sense because I'm not. But I'm sure they Canada may Day. have. So then there's also Resolution Renewal Day. So oh, New like Year's Resolution. Yeah, year. it's halfway point. This to is check on yourself. Today, yeah. I think, is the 182nd day. It's so halfway exactly. Today is. Today okay. is July 2nd. Okay. Yeah, so it's yesterday a good, good time was, to reflect on those resolutions. Yeah. yeah. See yeah. how those are going. Or well, not We made going. it halfway through 2022. Did you guys make any no. resolutions? No. No. I made a resolution to not make any resolutions. <laughs> He's just... Um, I don't... That's, no, that's, I was, that's been said 10,000 times. Yeah. What? That that statement. seriously, <laughs> and he smiles as if it's the first time. <laughs> he thought he, he coined it. He thought no, he I made that I up. coined it. I just didn't know it was a big thing that people <laughs> said that. I just figured lots of people do resolutions, and I just don't. So I was making a joke. In his even mind, though it's not funny, in his I was mind, a joke. He made that up. Mm -hmm. There's probably and he there's probably other things we'll find out. In the original father son voiceover podcast <sighs> that will that Hudson thinks that he created. Mm, maybe of, I created nothing. this. Yep. Good point. All right. We also have uh, Postal Worker Day. Mm. It celebrates and recognizes postal workers and the hard work they put in or don't to ensure your mail and deliveries <laughs> get to you smoothly and on time. I don't know about it's that. They feel one. like postal workers. No offense, but come on. Well, maybe mean, the ones that walk so around. Many, huh? Maybe the ones that walk around. The ones that drive in the car. I don't feel so bad about them. Yeah, how about the, I mean, they have like two-hour lunches, and I mean. It's still amazing to me, though. The not, mail not, system. Not to, it's still amazing to me that you can put a whatever stamp. What is the stamp now? First-class stamp. I don't even know. How much does it cost? Mom does it. Ten yeah. cents? Is mom, it more than mom that? Mom buys no, it. way more than that. And most yeah. people don't do stamps or mail anymore, but no. we do still because we're old. But we still send some some letters. And it's still amazing to me that, like, mom's parents live in Michigan. You can put it on, and f almost for sure, two to three days later, boom, yeah, they, they get have the letter. It. They mm -hmm. have it. Yep, they get it. Yeah. Yeah, on a um, separate note um, regarding old people, um, Damon and I were uh, going shopping in Sauk in the Piggly Wiggly, and there's, there's, there's some things that just kind of make you laugh. And one of them is, I've seen this before, not the same person, but it, it, it's an older person. The, the parking lot is jam-packed, mm -hmm. you know, lots and lots of vehicles. They're probably getting stuff for, for the holiday, holiday weekend. And uh, this older guy, you know, 20 years ago, no problem, I'm sure. would have been no, no issue. But, but he's kind of driven his vehicle. He's got the last little parking spot on the edge there. And he's, he's got the bright idea that he's going to back into that area. And, you know, he starts kind of backing up and he's kind of all over the place and he tries it again, comes on back out. And then he just kind of gives up and just, he's not really even close to the parking spot, but that's where he's going to be parked. And it's just, you know, you'd like to say, Hey, maybe just find one that's easier to get in and just get in there. There's no reason to take up a weird amount of space there in the parking lot. How old was he? You think? I think he had to have been 65, 70. Oh, I thought you eight, said old. 70 ish. Did he, did you follow him in? Did he eat in the 
aisles. Yeah, did he grab house? something off the shelf and start eating before he paid for well, you've it? Got yeah. to, you've got to explain that quickly now, Jonathan. You did people, it. Dad does that. Yeah. He likes going to Walmart. I, he, I, so he was I at paid Walmart. For it. He was I at understand. Walmart. After the fact. He was at Walmart, and I came up to his cart, and I said, oh, no, Dad, somebody's taken a bite. Because I didn't think he noticed it. It was one of those reduced, like they had been there for just a little bit. And I thought, somebody took a bite out of it and then put it back. Well, he gets a smirk on his face. It was him. It's yeah. like, you haven't even paid for it yet. It's like something a little, like when I was a kid, mom would let me do that. Open up a bag of chips and I get to eat some of them. Well, when you're older, you revert back to your childhood. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, is that guy, he's been driving for right. 50 years. Longer than I've been alive. Yep. And so he's done that many, many, many times. Right. And it's hard as an older person, mm -hmm. whether it's climbing up on your roof mm -hmm. or, or playing sports or different things like that. It's hard to... You still think you're young, yeah, and so you have a I tendency just, to do stuff like that. I just, I like, I just, it, it's kind of just makes you smile and laugh, kind of, because it's like he just kind of like, all right, well, I guess I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> and he's he's hanging yeah. outside of the parking spot. Maybe he made a decision that day. I can't do that anymore. He yeah. learned something. You watched it in, mm. yeah. But the thing that is, was his this, New Year's resolution, re his his and re resolution. Day, yeah, he just gave up. He just gave halfway up halfway through the year. So here yeah. on, on our, our podcast today, Drew went after postal workers yep. Yep. and older people. And the government. Yeah. And Canada. And science. And the government. And Canada. Drew went after a whole bunch of people yeah. today. Hey, you're on notice. <laughs> Let's just say <laughs> that. Out. Drew's old coming people, for you. Postal workers, Hopefully Canada, the postal service and, workers don't follow us around with work. True. We're not going to get our... We're not going to get our... Richard Stockton, he went after. Yeah. And John Hancock. I think we collectively went after the traitor, <laughs> Richard Stockton. Yeah. Oh, man. So, so this is the end of our 14th. This is episode. the end of our 14th and episode. And people are going to be, I know what's going to happen. People are going to say, what do I watch first? Mm -hmm. Do I watch Todd's Tips? Because that's so intriguing. Or do I get to BJ and William? That was that very was good. top yeah. notch. Uh -huh. I mean, that was, that was riveting. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, we were, I, I didn't want that to stop. And they didn't either. They wanted to sit here and sit here. And then you've got the taste testing. Mm -hmm. The taste testing for the Coke products. That was way way that was yeah, way up there and then, then well. you've got this it's just what what do you watch first it's like christmas what do you open first yeah, which that's is a good gift? question where do you start where do you start it's a huge huge meal you got a huge plate full of food all of it's tasty yep. and you're thinking where do i dive in so folks i'm talking to you we're gonna leave that up to you yeah whichever one of those things up to your discretion jump, just jump in and just enjoy just jump in it, that's the freedom america indulge. gives you just freedom, indulge you this go. weekend indulge. It's the freedom america gives yep, you to that's watch what whatever doing. you want to watch that's our message to you yep. exactly just john indulge. that's perfect that was nice yep. john this is you our gift to you of freedom and you have independence you to have freedom to live exactly yeah 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 well that'll, that'll do it for 14 episode 14 thanks guys for yeah taking the stand up there and yeah couch potatoes yeah, reverse. Anyway, yeah. Yep. yeah, it was nice. We had some. I, we had some I can't freedom. get back on the couch. I know. Me neither. They said, "Listen, you need to this be your first front time up and here, center." John. Yep. You need to be front and center. And I said, "I understand. I, hey, I get it. You know what? I know I'm the entertainment. This is your Don't show. Don't put basically. me on the side. Yeah, that's what happens. This to shows. Yeah. They, they morph into different it's things. The brother, it, brother podcast. It was now. our podcast, kind of, and now it's basically Take yours. It's Drew's pushing us off to the side. The Drew old guy. So it's a podcast within a podcast. Is what it is. I can sense people. Nobody said anything, but I can sense people said, "Give me more of that guy." Yeah. Like get him on the on, get him off the couch, get him front and center. You should. You should. You should test that. Start your own podcast, the Drew Barsness podcast. Yeah. And have guests and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Pose questions to myself. Yeah. Answer them. Go after people. Go, postal workers. Tell people I don't like about. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> An attack. Okay, I'll stop. All Let's, right. Thanks, guys.